this is my tackle room slash man cave. You know, I keep a lot of my extra baits and lures, rods, reels, things like that attached to the garage. So it just, it makes it real easy. I used to keep my boat here. Uh, now I got, you know, my boat and everything in the shop next door. So I kind of have two man cave tackle rooms. So keep a lot of my plastics stored here. You know, I've got a lot of stuff pegged on the walls. In here, I've, you know, keep a lot of extra spare hooks and spare trebles. I'll sit up here a lot and, uh, you know, change baits, you know, change treble hooks out. Fortunately, now we're starting to put a lot of those KVD mustads on, on a lot of our Strike King baits right from the factory, so. But I've got about anything that you need if I want to build uh, spinner baits or anything like that, all the different parts and things right here in these drawers. Uh, sprays, dyes, paints, I, I, I have a little bit of all of that, a lot of other tools and, and stuff like that, just to uh, anything I want to do with my tackle, a lot of some extra baits, some tools, old school crank baits, some different things like that. I just I have a whole bunch of uh, that kind of stuff, and look here, even a few turkey calls. I keep like a lot of extra plastics and totes and things like that. You know, being organized is, is pretty important. So I have them by category, you know, I'll have rage craws and rage bugs and dream shots and all, all those different things. I keep, you know, some, like a whole lot of spare hooks. I do a, do a lot of change in the crankbait hooks. So, I mean, there's a box of must add KVD number two. So I get them a thousand at a time that way, but keep that, keep spare line up here where it's nice and, uh, and cool and dark in these drawers, you know, XPS floral, all the different sizes, uh, a lot of extra, some spare KVD reels, some rods, a lot of some different baits and things like that, that I just keep kind of bulk here in this little side closet. I've got a, a great guitar collection. This is one that um, that I get that I got made from a Dwayne Calkins from Woodshop Rocks out in California. So he was he would make guitars for each of the classic winners and angler of the years. And the year that uh, that we launched the Sexy Shad, he made me this Sexy Shad guitar. So the year that I won the classic and angler of the year, he built me a double neck version of the same thing. So it's uh, I've got a lot of different different guitars and things like that as well. When each time you made the classic, they used to give you a belt buckle. So I've got all my belt buckles from all the years that I that I fished bass. And then they also would give you a patch at every tournament. So I've got all these different patches from back in the day, the old Bassmaster uh, Top 100 series and things like that. Um, got all those trophies and stuff. I don't have them hung up, but got them got them in the in the room, different places. This is pretty neat. I've got some original Strike King spinner baits. This is one of the original, original ones. I mean, the skirt and everything's basically kind of falling apart, but I mean, uh, that that right there is kind of it's cool. And then in here too, I've got a lot of baits that I've won events with. So this is uh, a Green Gizzard Chad 5XD that I won uh, the Bass Pro Tour event at Chickamauga just a couple years ago. This is a KVD 1.5 that I won the Bassmasters Classic with. I've got a classic winning Rogue, the classic winning Red Eye Shad. I, all my classic win baits are in here. And then from some of my other, you know, tournaments, original Sexy Shad crank baits. I mean, I just keep them in there. There's a, the Brown Cross square bill that I won at Grand Lake with a couple years ago. Won a cup of in on that River Shiner 1.5. A lot of 1.5s in there. So just just some cool baits. I've got some old, you know, some old lures and things like that 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 we collect. And um, this is a sign that uh, one of the Make-A-Wish uh, boys that I took fishing, his dad's a cabinet maker, and he made me this KVD sign for my man cave. So it's a pretty, pretty cool deal. I've got some old pictures from when I was a kid and just bobbleheads, different, different things like that. Here's an old picture with me and one of my good friends in school with a whole stringer full of pike. This is a hat that I got from the last World's Fishing Fair. I got Bill Dance, Johnny Morris, Jimmy Houston, um, Roland Martin, Hank Parker. Pretty cool deal to get all those guys that were there on it. Well, this is a face that was in the ESPN studios. Tony Kornheiser and Michael Wilbon signed it for me, and uh, it's pretty cool. I did have a stick on it, but I guess I've kind of got it on there. So that was in the studio for a while. One of my favorites again, <laughs> the old Bill Dance autographed Tennessee hat. Here, I mean, this is tournament clothes closet here, so I have a lot of things. But one of the things my wife is 
done is I've got one of my jerseys from all the years and all the different events. If you go way back here, I'm not going all the way to the back, but this is back in the day we used to do vests. So, I mean, you'd have them embroidered with all your sponsors, sponsors and stuff on there. Um, you know, that was before sublimated jerseys and all that. And then, then we had shirts, you know, that, that we'd have when we'd sew patches on them like that too. And it's just kind of interesting to see the transition of, of the clo tournament clothing over the years to, to how it's changed. So um, I don't have any of the original jumpsuits. That was a little before my time. So there you have it. You know, here's some of my favorite memories and things from my tackle room. I spend a lot of time up here working on things and uh, it's a special place.